Okay, so um, I just got in to the shipping container this morning. It's on a Saturday, and the date is uh, the 8th of November. And uh, thankfully, I can see that the 10268 is communicating uh, through the crossover cable to the laptop. Uh, and it's been downloading data, which is really, really excellent. <clears throat> Uh, so we'll just go to LSpec search and this is this was a situation previously I've got the latest data of 10267 uh, now I'm going to update it according to today's date which is now the 8th so the last time I updated was on the 5th and that time I wasn't getting communications from the 10268 uh, so I'll just pick today's date and we'll just do that update And hopefully, we'll have some data, and we do. So that's really good. Um, so we've got maximum minimum RMS voltage, maximum RMS current, which is just maximum. There's no minimum. Um, and then we've got the power consumed. Uh, this is a uh, an interesting graph because you can see here the uh, power requirements have changed. Now I remember when I came into the shipping container, it was very, very hot and someone had turned up to about 35 degrees, so it was heating the inside of the shipping container. And then now I see it's down to, hang on, it's down to 28 degrees, so that's, that's made a big difference. You can see that the current has dropped right down and the overall energy consumed has dropped right down too. <clears throat> anyway, I'll uh, save this data to a spreadsheet. Open up there and export. I'll just see if I can uh, just choose the, the maximum values. Let's see what this this uh, data looks like. So we've got, I'll just um, adjust this column width here. Uh, they don't always uh, format the columns the way you want, so you've got to do a little bit of messing around here. Okay, so we've got the, I'll just adjust this row and we'll um, freeze that first row if we can. Okay. So we've got 10268, active energy, current voltage and then 10267 active energy current and voltage just uh, try and fix up this freeze planes okay that's good so <clears throat> that looks pretty good just scroll down to today's date. So it's the 8th of November. There's some gaps there, so I may have to redo this again, including maximum energy. But uh, so we've got today's date. And you can see those last few data samples are missing because I can only uh, take the take the data from one unit at a time. So we're just missing a couple of days there. 
So that's that. The twenty eighth is the last date I had both sets of data. Now, as I said, uh, one hundred two six eight is the unit closest to facilities management, and one hundred two six seven is further away or further south. Um, and it was using a lot more power, and I think because the heater was up quite high, and I don't remember touching that. So that's probably why the uh, power consumed is a bit higher. I'm not showing 207, so anyway. So we'll just save that now. File, save as. Uh, we'll, save it, we'll save it to the desktop first. Shipping container, data. Okay, sham, H-A-M, shams, data. No, that's not actually per hour, I think that's... Oh, okay, that's r roughly per hour, I'm not sure what those time divisions are there. Save that to my USB drive too. Save. Uh, we'll do a screen capture too. So, control, print screen. And this is only uh, Windows XP. Save as. Uh, JPEG. Okay, good. I'll just try saving that one more time because I want to have a look at if I do minimum and average, just see what that does. Yeah, the times the time gaps are the same, and you can see here. Format that, alignment, wrap text. Minimum. There are some values there. Now, maybe this is what I should be saving because you can see where there's zero, there's actually a minimum value. And I don't want to have any gaps in the data. I think that's important. There are a few gaps there. I'm not sure why that's happened. So what we'll do, see there, there's a gap. But I'm not sure if that's important. Save it anyway. Minna and Max. Okay. So that's good. We'll just check that now and we'll save this video too.